The images of the Leopard 2A for a man battle tank fitted with Contact 1 era blocks from the Soviet era were published by the Ukrainian tank force after completing this special integration package. Contact 1 armor has been fitted around the turret and size of the vehicle. The equipment package will help Leopard 2A4 increase its survivability by two times in the face of an attack from Russian suicide drones and anti-tank weapons, a commander of the Ukrainian tank forces said. Turrets are the weakest point of tanks in general. To affirm the strength for a Leopard, the German manufacturer has equipped them with very strong firepower but did not invest much in the protection of the turret. Leopard's armor block is made of two components, a 240mm thick light alloy articulated frame and 80mm thick laminated homogeneous armor plates. This is not enough to protect the tank in modern warfare. Therefore, Ukrainian engineers have integrated into the Leopard the Contact 1 armor to increase the protection of the tank. Contact 1 era was developed by the Soviet Union in the 1970s, intended to counteract heat projectiles, and was widely used on various ammo vehicles, including tanks like T-72 and BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles. Simplicity of design and mass character with efficiency make it the most common tank dynamic armor in the countries of the former Soviet Union despite the fact that Russia and Ukraine have more advanced models. Both countries use it massively. The Contact 1 era system consists of a series of rectangular metal plates attached to the exterior of the vehicle. Each plate contains a layer of high explosive sandwiched between two metal plates. When a shaped charge warhead impacts the area, the explosive layer detonates, which causes a shock wave to rapidly propel the metal plates forward. This counteraction disrupts the shaped charge's jet, decreasing its effectiveness in penetrating the vehicle's main armor. Contact 1 armor consists of blocks each of which includes two 4S20 explosive elements. This is essentially a plastic explosive placed between two steel plates. The key principle behind error is that it neutralizes the incoming threat before it can penetrate the primary armor of the vehicle. By detonating the explosive layer outside the main armor, the era effectively defeats the sharp charge's threat, minimizing its ability to penetrate the tank. However, many experts believe that Contact 1 will not help Ukraine's Leopard 2A4 because Contact 1 is the first generation of explosive reactive armor and currently the most modern version is Contact 5. In fact, all our Russian tanks such as T-55 AMB, T-62 AMB, T-64B, T-72B, T-80UD, and T-80V are equipped with Contact 1. But Russia's T-80 and T-90 tanks are being modernized with the most modern protective armor, the Relic. This armor is said to be twice as effective as the Contact 5. Therefore, whether the Contact 1 explosive reactive armor helps Ukraine's Leopards to increase their survivability as claimed or not in the conflict with Russia needs to go through a real battle to give the clearest answer. The Leopard 2 is a third-generation main battle tank developed in the 1970s for the West German Army and entered service in 1979. 
Germany produces more than 3,600 Leopard 2 tanks. A series of variants are in service in the armies of Germany and 13 European countries, as well as many countries outside the region. The UK-based International Institute for Strategic Studies estimates the current number of the Leopard 2s in Europe at more than 2,000 units. The West had just delivered 30 Leopard 2A4, 21 Leopard 2A6, and some engineering vehicles using the same chassis to Ukraine. In a statement on June 11, the Russian Defense Ministry said that this force ambushed a Ukrainian armor group in Zaporizhia province, destroying 11 tanks, including three Leopards, 17 infantry fighting vehicles, four model vehicles, a British Stormer anti-aircraft missile system, and an American M777 Hornwizzer.